Hello, Slissers! Welcome to another edition of Lissa Fireside. Uh, I'm here on this wonderful end of the fall break uh, on an October evening with a glass of apple cider and want to catch you up on the things that are coming up. Uh, first off, I want to say a wonderful, wonderful thank you to all the people who volunteered uh, for the uh, South Carolina Library Association conference that's coming up at the end of this month. Uh, we are really excited to have that many people uh, just really uh, volunteer their time and show support of this organization and get a chance to really see a lot of cool stuff. So, um, yeah, congratulations. We're all full up, so we don't need any more volunteers. Uh, things that we've got coming up. This Thursday, we have the Robert Newland from the Library of Congress, a uh, person who's come to talk to us before on this, has going to come back and uh, tell us about resume and interviewing tips. And since he's within the field, I think it would be really pertinent uh, for everyone to come, bring your own resume so he can look over some of them after the, comp after the uh, meeting. And this will be Thursday in Davis 112. There will be uh, a link to the Adobe Connect if you can't attend in person, but it's going to be from 6 to 7.30. Uh, and about 6 to 6.30 is when we're going to serve food and drinks. So if you are able to attend, we've got some uh, you know, stuff for you to eat. I'm really excited also that in November, November 7th, uh, the people who create the unshelved comic book, Bill Barnes and Gene Ambaum, are coming to our school to talk to us. Uh, and this is really cool. Uh, they've created seven books worth of library comic strips that in itself says something. But uh, they uh, are a wonderful duo and have created uh, a hilarious look at the world that libraries and public librarians and any type of librarians have to deal with. Uh, check them out on unshelved.com. They're going to be here that Saturday from 5 to about 6, 7. And uh, I know they're going to have about a little bit of a talk. I'm trying to find a good location, so I need you guys to RSVP to me, either through the Facebook uh, invite or through... Uh, Sliss underscore Lissa at yahoo.com. Uh, please do that soon. We need to know how many people are coming so we can know which uh, room to block. This Friday, we're going to have October 16th, the uh, next Lissa meeting. And uh, we're going to hold that in Davis, but in the little um, study area in the basement. <laughs> and um, we're going to have talk about the events that are coming up and ways to volunteer uh, and uh, try and get some new committees and events um, worked on. So we've got that this Friday. And the next week, we have the COA accreditation panel coming in. And this is a, a big, stressful, crazy, fun time for uh, our school. We get to show them what we're about. We get to show them that we are a strong student body uh, and a great student organization that is supported by a wonderful university and a wonderful school. So um, come by, show your support, and uh, if anyone asks you about your time there, answer them honestly and, and <laughs> favorably. <laughs> um, I hope you uh, have a chance to take a part in this too. Then we've got the South Carolina Library Association Conference, which if you didn't get a chance to volunteer, there are also some wonderful things going on, so I'd recommend that you try and take a chance to really visit uh, and, and see some of the sessions. Um, other than that, I hope you're having a great week. If there's any questions or things that I can help with, let me know uh, through whatever means necessary, since you know pretty much all of my email addresses by now. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Cheers. Oh, and one quick reminder, uh, the Mildly Attractive Men of Sliss calendar is coming together. We've already got a uh, couple of photo shoots done, so this is really exciting. Um, I just need to make sure if there's anyone else, we still need two more people. Um, so any other Mildly Attractive Men out there, I know you're there. Um, I just need you to send me a movie idea when you want it shot, and I'll be there. Um, or if you're distance education, we already have three, four um, people who are out there who are sending their photos in. All you need to do is send six to eight photos in with a movie idea uh, or a, a famous photo idea, 
uh, get to me if you need have any questions, and I know it'll be really great and exciting. We've already got some hilarious and wonderful and mildly attractive shots, even more than mildly attractive shots already. Uh, someone did Psycho with a book replacing the knife, and someone also did Say Anything uh, where there's a bookshelf instead of a boombox.